back to Kids Alive Church. I'm Teacher Joanna and this is Buddy the Zebra. And today we are continuing our series about our identity in Christ. Now today's lesson is in Christ I am complete. In Christ I am complete. That means you are whole, you are well, you are loved. You are complete in Christ. You're not empty like a puzzle that you can't find that one piece to fit in. You are not that. You are a complete puzzle because God wants to make you complete. God wants to fill your life with love, with um, lots of love from His throne and also with passion and talents and a lot of things. God wants to make your life complete. So today's story is actually one of my favorite stories in the Bible. I've got many favorite stories, but this story is one of my favorite because it talks about friends. And who loves to have friends here? I know Buddy loves to have friends. He's got lots of friends. I'm sure you have some friends that you keep quite close to you. Now this story, it's about four friends. Four friends of a paralytic. Now this word is a big word. Paralytic. Don't worry. What it basically means is a guy who could not walk. A paralyzed man. He could not walk. Now he had four friends that loved him very much. Yeah? And so when they heard that Jesus was coming and they heard that Jesus was a man who would heal people, he was God, they said, we must bring our best friend to go see this guy and see what this guy Jesus can do for our best friend. And so what these four friends did was they carried their friend four of them on this big bed they carried him and they took him but when they got to the place where Jesus was they saw oh my goodness it's full of people so many people at the house how are we gonna get in and then they had a brilliant idea do you know what the idea was it was to climb up on the roof huh, with the paralyzed man? Are you kidding? They did. I don't know how they did it, but they managed to get him on one of them or four of them. I don't know how they did it, but they climbed all the way to the top of the roof. And then they had to listen. Hmm, where is Jesus? Listen. Let's listen. Maybe they used a cup to listen through the roof. And they listened, listened, listened to see where is Jesus. Then they could hear, oh, Jesus is right here. And then they broke the roof. Uh-huh, it wasn't their house, but they did it. They broke the roof and they lowered their friend slowly right in front of Jesus. And they asked Jesus to heal him. And Jesus said this, Your friend's faith has made you well has made you complete. It's because of your friends that you are well. So everything we need actually can be found in God. Everything that you need, and the friends knew this, everything that we need is with Jesus. And that's why they did so much hard work to bring their friend to Jesus. And their friend received something so much more than they can ever imagine. The friend received healing. Now the friend can get up and play football with them. The friend can get up and go on hikes with them. The friend can get up and go and have a good time with them. The friend is well. They don't need to carry the friend around anymore. They can now be with the friend as a complete person. And that is what Jesus wants for our life. So the friends knew that number one, Jesus is the answer. The friends knew that Jesus is the answer. And that is why they went through everything to make their dream come true. God can make their friend complete. Now the friend can go fishing, can go shopping, can go whatever with them because they knew that Jesus is the answer. Number two, they had to help their friend. They had to help their friend. Listen, they had to help their friend. They didn't say, Aya, ask your mother and father and sister and brother to help you. Lah. Why should we help you? No, they helped their friend. 
they took it upon themselves to do something for someone. How many of you have friends that need you to be there with them? They need you to say, hey, come, join us at our lunch table. Join us in canteen today. Join us in PE. Come on our team. You have to make that move so that people can feel complete. Once you make that move, they will become friends with you. You can have a new friend and then you can start bringing them to church because we want that to happen in the end. Ultimately, you want your friend to get saved, right? You want your friend to be a complete puzzle, not something missing. And so we need to be friends to those around us. Yeah? Okay, number three is work to be done. It wasn't an easy job to climb up with that heavy guy. Remember this, he's a grown man. He wasn't a baby that was easy to carry. Okay, I carry my baby up. No, he was a grown man. Can you imagine carrying a grown man up on the roof? <gasps> Can you imagine somebody carrying your papa up on the roof? No, right? It's ridiculous. But that is what happened. Work had to be done. Not only did they have to carry him up on the roof, they had to break the roof. Wow, that also takes work, right? Not easy to break a roof, right? Because the roof have to hold up, ma. Can correct or not? So you have to actually, they have to do work to break the roof. And then, not only that, they had to lower him slowly. They cannot just bro, throw him down, right? <laughs> Nobody's like, oh no, I hope they didn't. No, they didn't. They lowered him down slowly to exactly where Jesus was. It was work. Work had to be done. No easy way. Same thing with our lives. Work has to be done. How do we reach out to our friends? Work. By doing something for someone. Also, how can we be complete ourselves? Work. We have to confess our sins. We have to change our ways. Then we can be complete. Work has to be done. Yeah? And so I hope you understand today's lesson. Now, our friends are going to tell us the memory verse for today. Hello and welcome to Kids Alive Church! Hey, 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 oh. hey! where were you? How come no one you come? So late one! Oh, sorry, sorry. I was combing my hair and then after that, I realized I didn't brush my teeth today. And then I wanted to brush my teeth and then I realized I don't have teeth. We don't have teeth because we are puppets and we don't want to bite the person that's holding yours' hand. That's why we don't have teeth. Oh yeah. And also, it helps lah because now I can chew slowly and then I can lose weight faster. Why do you need to lose weight? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do the memory verse for today. Hey, wait. What about the joke? Right. The joke. Uh... Okay, what do you call the cow that eats your grass? What do you call a cow that eats your grass? What do you call a cow that eats your grass? Oh, that's, that's a tough question. A lawn mower! <laughs> a lawn mower! I get it! It's so funny. Uh, yo, you know, that reminds me of something that happened last week, you know. I was walking and walking and I saw a cow and I wanted to eat the cow and then I realized I don't have teeth. Uh, yo. Okay, let's tell the memory verse for today before the kids get distracted because we, we know we never ever ever get distracted, right? No, we never. We never ever. Okay. The memory verse for today is Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit But in humility, consider others better than yourselves Philippians 2 verse 3 Ooh, can I sing it? Okay, can try Okay <laughs> Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit But in humility That was amazing, Eddie. Well done, well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay then, bye-bye kids. Bye everybody, have fun. Bye. 
That was really good, la. Really, really good. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, our friends. So the memory verse is Philippians two verse three. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. So guys, I hope you understand to think about those around you because not just you that want to be complete in Christ, you want to help those around you as well. Just like these four friends who help their friend to achieve completion. Amen. I hope you guys are blessed by today's lesson. I know Buddy and I were blessed, and Buddy and I are gonna say bye bye. <laughs>